Aloha and good morning. Today is May 6th, okay, 2018, a couple days after the Kilauea eruption. And today we're going to talk about everyone has a master. Okay, yes, they do. So let's get into that. We talk a lot about the master and what I would call the slave reality. Master and slave reality. Remember, there always is a master to even the masters that you, of course, have. Externally, okay, internally, okay, naturally. Okay, what do you think? Tornadoes aren't masters? Ha, hurricanes aren't masters? We did a Facebook Live yesterday, okay, on some of my update on on the Hawaii of eruptions, which is pretty massive over here. And, you know, that's a good one for you to watch. It's rethinking reality, just like the rest of our films. But let's just think in this layer of reality. We all have a master, okay? Or set of masters, in fact. But let's just talk about our typical masters. You get in trouble, what happens? Well, you gotta go to the judge and He's the master, but then again, okay, he's going by the law, so-called. And of course, that is another master above that master. Now, remember, everybody has a master. You could have a master sergeant. <laughs> you could have a master mechanic. He's a master, okay? And what does master mean? It means you will serve me, okay, master. That's what you'd call sort of like uh, maybe your your slave owner, okay? You call your not your dad that, but you'd call back maybe to your owner. You'd call him master, yes, master, okay? Just like in a lot of the old films. Now the exterior masters you can't do anything about. You can't, and if you think you can, guys, go ahead, give it a try. Remember, the system masters us, socially engineers us. It gives us everything basically so we can be non-organic, non-organic. We have become addicted to all technologies, okay? We've gotten very lazy. We become a master to the computer realm, to the mind realm. Remember, a master. And masters, some of them are good, and some masters, eh, they're not so good, okay? Just because you're a master doesn't mean you're a bad guy or a bad thing. But masters do what? Teach lessons to people. They teach lessons. So who's the master within you? That's the question you should ask. Who is it, you? Are you the master of yourself? Wow, what an empowering thought. Okay, remember, the master is invisible. Sort of like the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, the master within are these parasites that are mind controlling. Yes, they are. They are physiological controlling. Okay, yes, they are. And they will make you do things based on what they need from you. They are your master. Silent master, of course, is because they live inside you. And that's the best part of this master. Remember, you've become a part of it. It's become a part of you. You don't even know it exists. Okay, but it is not serving you, you are being the master to these creatures. Remember, are you hungry or are they? That's the question to ask. Remember, why, why would you have any body fat on you? And don't say that's normal. Remember, body fat is category two, it's a creature. It feeds on what? Pretty typical. If you're overweight, you're a sugar monster. Body's toxic, it's dehydrated, it's plugged. <clears throat> got this air conditioning on, locks my throat. That's a, a booby trap, okay? Just the crappy air. You're breathing that air all day. It's your master. It's going to lower your oxygen level. And when it does that, that's not good, okay? <clears throat> so the master within, once you find out about this master, watch our video on, and several videos on the parasite categories at eartheracademy.com. Remember, 
parasites are incredibly, incredibly powerful. They are incredibly elusive. You don't know they're there. And if you did, you'd want to get rid of them in some form and fashion. Maybe even try to fight them. Maybe even try to kill them. Wow. That must be a pretty tough adversary if you knew it was living in you, of course. But if you didn't, then, well, that's called the Wizard of Oz, the, the, the wizard behind the curtain that lives with our nervous system. Remember, that is, this is the master within. It took me like a dozen years to be able to, to rid myself of my intestinal parasites, my brain parasites. Of course I still have some, I'm sure. Can't be parasite free, not living in a world that, of course, is infiltrated with these creatures. And everything and anything that you can touch, even a doorknob, a toilet seat, you can pick up anything. So it's not the parasites, okay, that are so bad. No, it's not. What is it? It's your immune system. And if your immune system is bad, then these parasites take a hold of you. Now, if your immune system is bad, why is that? It's because you have not been the master of yourself. The master by learning. Learning. Okay? Learning. That is power. To learn. Not just to, to well, blanketly believe. No, it's to learn. It's to learn. And not only once you learn, you can never really understand it unless you practice and teach. So what level of, you know, of these, these simple, as what we call protocols, can you, can you get into? That's the question. Remember, the parasites that live in the body can be removed safely, most of them. We all have parasites, and if anybody says you don't have them again, they're just being foolish, just because they can't detect them in their simple laboratory examinations. Remember, if you have body fat, that's a creature. It eats sugar, yeast mold fungus candida. If you've got a belly that looks like you're pregnant, guys, I'm not insulting you, it's what it is. I can help you. Your body's full of creatures, and they feed voraciously. And of course, they poop inside the body. Remember, you wanna get rid of the master within, then you have to be the master of yourself. EarthRacademy.com. Learn how to be the master of yourself. Okay, so you can let go of the master within because you really can't go ahead and, and, well, fight the masters outside. Okay, the masters. You can't even fight your school teachers, which call themselves masters. And if they were school teachers, of course, and masters, then, well, that's what happens. You have a degree called a master's degree. Wow, <laughs> that must mean you're either smart or you take orders. Because remember, every master has a master. Every master has a boss. Every boss has a boss. All the way to, well, what breathes us all. Remember, that is the deepest master within. Do you want to know what it is that breathes you? That's a pretty weird thought for most people with only half their brain activated. Okay, remember, do you want to know what it is that breathes you? Of course you can breathe, but what breathes you, what pumps your heart, what focuses your eyes, and what does all things without you even realizing that they're even happening? Whoa! <laughs> Again, that's one of the masters within you. And that master is serving you because why? Well, it's keeping you alive. Okay, it's not the ego. That's in the mind. Remember, this is the... God instrument that we all own. It's called a body, the instrument of God. And the definition of God means no one knows what it is. If you can put a name on it, well, that means you don't understand it. It's because, remember, God can't be named. How could you name air? Someone came up with that. How could you name the sun? Ha, <laughs> Christos, Helio, Investus, okay? All the different names that the ancients have come up with this fireball in the sky. Remember, it's unknowable. Bladed grass is unknowable. So to master yourself, I can guarantee you, if you let go of some of the elusive masters within your system, it's going to take you about 180 days of terrain modification, but you will lose massive and copious and varieties of, well, 
masters <laughs> that live inside you that, of course, your master most likely will just let you survive, won't they? If you work for somebody, let's say, and, you, and they're your master, what are you going to do? You're going to say, not too much. You're going to do what they say. Yes, you are. So I just wanted to give you this, this idea, okay? Again, it's very smart for us to be able to think multidimensionally, multifractionally, okay? And be able to look and see, okay? And observe ourselves. Forget about everybody else. Guys, I'm talking about you. Remember, take your clothes off, look in the mirror, and see if you are the master, okay? Or is someone the master of you? Wow. I don't know. But all I can say again is that, remember, there are masters of light, as they say. There are masters of darkness. There are, well, masters just about, like I said, in every corner, from a master mechanic even to a master baiter. <laughs> okay, so, anyways, the mystery is, to remove the masters you don't even know you have. And when you do, you'll find out, well, really what you weren't is because you got rid of some of the masters. And what are the masters? Again, well, some are exterior, okay? And they control our lives. Yes, they do in many ways. And some, of course, are inside. And some you can see with your eyes, and of course, most of the great masters, remember, never show themselves. And those are, of course, what I would call the parasites. Take this out of the holder here. Okay, so the parasites, basically, this is, uh, well, <laughs> what do you think it is? They are creatures, remember? You don't even know you have them, like I said, because if not, you'd get rid of them. You would, you would remove them, yes, you would. Let's get outside in the sun here for a sec. Ah, okay, a couple days after the big earthquakes we had. Okay, and, and that was our master. Yes, it was. Wow, that was our master. Okay, especially the second one, 6.9. It mastered my house. It mastered all these shops. This is why this parking lot is empty right here. It's because there's no one here because most of the shops are closed because they got pretty much all their stuff knocked off the shelves in Hilo Town. And of course, the volcano, you can see where all those clouds are right there, okay, over there. That's all, that's all that direction of Kilauea is right in that lane right there, okay. And you can see here, it's beautiful. But for the people over in Lalani Estates and on the East Ridge over there, they're not too happy right now. My friend, several friends, they can't even go back to their house. They can't even go to their house is because they've got National Guard there and they won't let them back in. So, guys, the National Guard is the master now. So all I can do is tell you, you can be the master of yourself. Yes, you can. You can learn how to rid yourselves of the masters within. First, I have to share with you, teach you, okay? And show you the ideas, okay? So you can know the different, well, choices that you may want to go ahead and do to be able to take back your mastery, your mastery, okay? To take back your mastery is a beautiful thing. Can't go to school to that. <laughs> I want to take back my mastery. Do they offer that at Harvard? No, they don't, okay? So remember, this is all self-responsibility. Wow, big, big parasite in the sky. Look at that thing. <laughs> Stay out of its way. Remember, the self-mastery of yourself is such an incredible thing once once you go ahead and and really well start to master it because mastering something is just getting yourself going and once you enjoy it the mastery is is actually beautiful it's just beautiful and why is that it's because it's not work I call it the great work but I call it the great creation of yourself so anyways there's lots of people that teach so-called self-mastery and that's good, you can learn from them. Earth Academy, that's what we do. It's learn how to become your own doctor. Learn how to become your own master for yourself, not for anybody else. Okay, you can be the master of your garden. You can be the master of your household. Okay, 
or you could the best be the master of yourself. Anyways, self mastery brothers and sisters, and we will see you. Please watch our videos. We put a lot of good ones out this week. Uh, a couple of live ones here over the last few weeks, Rethinking Reality, Facebook Lives. If you like the videos, push them around because, well, the system doesn't push my videos around for a reason. Remember, speaking the truth, okay, sometimes irritates those that are speaking, well, maybe the truth they want you to know and or only understand. Remember, I'm only trying to share with you guys things that I've put into Earther Academy that are private to me. This is where I put my personal, private protocols, practices, and principles to be able to show you things uh, that you can't go ahead and do on social media. Can't even show somebody how to drink water, guys. I'm going to show you what I've done, though, in over 50 departments. Remember, start, start the journey. Start your self-mastery. Okay, I'm going to go work out right now. Hopefully the gym's open. Is <laughs> because all the rest of the companies that I've seen here, they're all closed. I can see right here, Paradise Food Supply, closed. I can see the big close sides. Okay? So, anyways, that's why, the, like I said, the parking lot's empty. We did the Facebook Live yesterday, and that was on, are you ready for a natural disaster? Are you ready? Externally and also internally when you get sick, because that's a natural disaster too. Okay? Remember, these are all thinking realities. And remember, it's your time to be able to step up right now. Step up. Okay, step forward like I'm walking right now. Step forward in your journey of what? Learning how to become more of a master of yourself. Okay, that's enough. All right, aloha. And let's get some palm trees right here. <laughs> and a little ocean. There you go. Hawaii's beautiful on this side, but like I said, on the East Rift side over there, these people are hurting. Okay? Lots of people have been displaced, moved, houses burned down. And remember, Pele is a master of the big island. It is the master of the weather here. It has its own weather system, Pele. So remember, the air that I'm breathing is the master, again, of me. Because without this air breathing me electronically, then I don't live. Look, the master I'm standing on right now, OK, is the Earth. So then again, you can change your own stars, as I said many times. And that's just changing your DNA. Okay? Just because you're born with something or just because they say it was genetically induced, that's BS in my book. You can't change your DNA. I changed mine. You can't change your star. You can't change the color of your eyes. My eyes used to be dark brown. Now the brown shrank down to the pupil. The green's in the middle. And I got blue ring. Big one. Rainbow eyes. And you do change as consciousness change, letting in the light filters. Remember, the brown eyed is a filter. Red and orange, brown. The blue eyed is a filter. It's consciousness activation too. It's not just because you see some light doesn't mean you're going to be enlightened. No, it's all experience. We live in a physical world, guys. Just remember that. So you can do a lot of meditation, which is good for you to do. But then again, don't get lost in all that mind, mind game. Remember, this is a physical world and you have to dig deep Okay, in the beginning. Fix the body, 180 days train modification, and then it's time to go ahead and try to go ahead and reset, renew, and rebuild the mind. But that's second. A lot of people are trying to rebuild their mind now, and their body, okay, is, is lacking. You cannot rebuild the mind until the body's been cleansed. The body's your church. These are your temples. The temples, okay, run the church? No, the body. The church runs the temples when the church is dirty. Once the church is clean, then the temples now can see if they can get aligned. All right, that's it. <laughs> Aloha, guys. Ah, what a fresh breath air of as prana. Remember, get some sun, get out in nature, okay? And, and get away from your, your artificial world, all your Wi-Fi, your Wi-Fi, okay? All your Bluetooth. And don't even take those phones with you, guys. You didn't have them 20 years. You don't need them now to go on a hike. And if you do, shut it off, airplane mode. Put it down. Shut off your Bluetooth. Anyways, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Aloha. There we go. <laughs>